I'm going to run through how to create a screencast. In this case, I'll do it with the TechSmith or Camtasia Relay software. Uh, but if you want to use other software, just come to this link on Wikipedia. This is a good um, you know, comparison of screencasting software. If you want to sort by operating system, for example, you can sort that table. And you can see some that are free, proprietary, and have the features that you'd like. Uh, we're going to use the TechSmith one for this one. In fact, that's what I'm using to record this session. And um, okay, and you'll notice that this is recording at a high resolution. Um, let's see. I, right now, my resolution on my screen is 3,000 by 2,000, and you'll see that it's recording in 4K right now. Um, so that option will be available on YouTube when you upload it. But um, let me just go through some of this. When you open up Camtasia, you'll see uh, this uh, dialog right here. You'll just want to click the record button. Um, and when you do that, uh, you'll get um, a dialog that looks like this. Um, I just go ahead, I just minimize that so it doesn't have that at the be very beginning of my screen recording. And then you'll also see a countdown timer there. So this will do uh, three, two, one, and then it will start recording. Um, once you're done with that, um, you can click, um, you know, there's a shortcut key that you can set up before you begin. So if you want to set up some hot keys, for example, you can set up uh, certain key combinations that will either start or stop or pause your recording. And uh, so I like to hit that stop key so I don't see this dialog box, for example, when I stop recording. Um, and then after you do that, you'll see a screen like this right here. Okay, and that gives you some options. Uh, you can either submit, uh, like it says here, the submit button, if you have it configured, uh, you know, for a profile like to YouTube account or something like that, you can submit it directly. I'll show you what I like to do. I actually like to go and get the raw AVI file and then submit that myself. Okay, so don't click any of these right here. Uh, don't click any of those buttons. And um, I'll just show you where to go get that. It's kind of in a hidden folder. Um, so you first of all just need to go to C drive. Okay, and then in C drive go to users. And let me make these icons just a little bit bigger, uh, just so we can see them. Uh, we'll go medium. Uh, let's go large icons there. Okay, so I'm in my C drive right now. Go users, and then my uh, my username there. Now this is the tricky part right here. You've got to actually go in here. It doesn't show it to you, but you want to go into app data um, within this. Okay, so just go ahead and go to that. Uh, your username and then uh, click here in the address bar go slash app data um, and let me switch that back to large icons again and then go to local and okay and then you got to kind of you got to go down and find TechSmith okay so I'm gonna find that uh, right here okay I'm just switching these to large icons so you can see them you click the TechSmith recorder and then within this um, you'll just go into recordings and then after I click finish here an AVI file will show up and then what I do is I can just go to uh, YouTube for example let me just go to my YouTube channel uh, right here uh, apmonitor.com YouTube and um, and then you come over to YouTube if you have an account and you're logged in then you just come up here to the upload button um, you, know, you copy that AVI file out. That's all you need is just the AVI, AVI file. And then you can just drag an AVI file from your desktop, uh, you know, maybe from this folder right here, directly over to YouTube. It'll start uploading and it'll look pretty good. Um, so that's what I use for mine. Um, and then I just want to show you for, uh, for those who are, um, you know, do have access to Camtasia Relay here on uh, BYU campus. I'm sorry, I can't give this uh, login information out to others who are not. Uh, you have to have a BYU login. But you go to Camtasia uh, Relay.byu.edu, and I'll just log in with my username and password. And this is where I download the client uh, for Camtasia Relay. Uh, you can go to uh, Client Downloads and uh, visit the Client Downloads page. So this one has all of the links that are in 
Uh, you know, you can get it for, for a Windows download. Uh, you can get it uh, on your phone, uh, for example, on Google Play um, or in the App Store. You can also get it for Mac. You can also get this download portable recorder. So if you want to put it on a thumb drive, for example, you can do that. Um, but again, the, the main thing that I'd recommend with Camtasia is when you, uh, or the TechSmith Relay, is that when you get it to this point right here, I don't like to click the Submit button. Uh, and don't hit the Discard yet either. Um, you know, you got to wait until you copy that AVI file out. Uh, but just go to this hidden folder uh, right here and grab the uh, AVI file that's right there. And that generally is the best quality. When you submit it to the server, at least in my case, uh, it transforms it into an MP4 and does some compression on it. And YouTube, it'll upload it directly as a 4K document, a 4K uh, video, if or, or whatever the resolution of your screen is. It'll just be the native resolution uh, directly to YouTube. Okay, so that's it for um, TechSmith here. I'll just show uh, what it looks like when I uh, stop this. And uh, there you can see the button. But I typically use the uh, shortcut key to stop it. Okay, so that's a, just a brief tutorial on how to create a video with TechSmith uh, Relay.